Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you my whole collection of ants. And I'm going to tell you why I took a break for so long. So let's get into it. Uh, I took a break for one and a half mon months because I was really not vibing YouTube anymore for a little while. And I didn't want to force out content because I think it's more... How do you say that? It comes out more genuine if you just make content when you feel like it. So I didn't have anything to update you guys on, so I didn't post. It was also partly because I uh, had a lot to do for school. And as you know, school still goes first, it goes above all things. But also an important factor is that winter is coming up and uh, it's getting colder and I try to heat up my room and it's 23 degrees celsius right now and uh, the ants are still uh, slowing down that's because they have a biological clock so I can't stop that but yeah if they're slowing down, they don't grow a lot, and I don't have much to update you on. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So here we have a Laceous Flavus colony with 4 queens and uh, around 20 workers. This colony started when uh, Lacius Flavus had their nuptial flights and I caught five queens and I put them together in a test tube and four of them are still alive and they have uh, they now have some workers and they have a lot of root left too and most of the time they kill off the queens uh, the workers because um, they only let one queen live and that's most of the time the strongest one but in this colony that hasn't happened yet so they have four queens for now but we'll see after winter if they still have four queens As I said, this is a Lacia Slavus colony and they are very easy to keep and I really recommend them for starters because they are so easy to get big and observe. But now to move on to a new colony. This colony loves their sweets and loves their protein. And it's a really, really, a really big species, actually. Maybe you can guess. They're also exotic. And it, uh, they are the beautiful Campanodus nicobarensis. The most of you will maybe already have heard of the species. It's an exotic ant species from Southeast Asia. And just look at their beautiful coloring. The big uh, one is the queen. And they have around 10 workers. And they have 5 pupa. A lot of, a lot of uh, really adult larvae, around 3. And some tiny larvae and eggs. And you have to bear with me for a second, but imagine uh, if this colony got some majors. They'd just be amazing. Because they would uh, have a hat like uh, the queen and the beautiful col coloring as well. And I bought this uh, colony of someone and uh, 
Yes, um, and shop, and I will leave the link of that shop in the description below. Because his ants are really always in good shape. And I've met uh, him a few times now. And he's really a good guy. And if you are new and you haven't already, uh, press the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss another video. But now to move on to the next colony. And this is uh, the Formica Sanguinea colony. Uh, I have moved them into another nest, and you may recognize that nest, that's the nest of the Messer Barbarus colony. But now uh, the Formica Sanguinea colony is living in here. They don't have any eggs uh, anymore, or any larvae for that matter, but they are still uh, they have still their uh, Formica Sanguinea workers and uh, Formica Fusca workers. Here's the queen. She is still healthy. She has slowed down a bit. But yeah, that's as I always say, because of winter. And there have been no problems with the Formica Sanguinea workers and the host workers. So I'm happy with that. And if you have any tips uh, where I could get some more uh, pupa for this colony, uh, let me know for sure in the comments. But now to move on to the next colony. You probably know this outworld. This is the outworld of my 6 queen Myrmica Rubra colony. There have been uh, two die-offs lately, but they are still going strong. And I'm sorry if the outer world is messy, but they need to eat a lot. In the nest we can see that they have a lot of uh, brood. A lot of tiny larvae, a lot of bigger larvae, but I don't think these will pupate before winter. I think they'll just stay in that almost adult larva, larva stage until uh, next year. But the queens are still pumping out eggs. Uh, the worker count has gone down a bit because of those two die-offs but they're still going strong and I think they'll grow a lot next year Now to move on to my most favorite colony of them all. I moved them in an, to an entire new setup. This is the current outworld of the Messer Barbarus colony. They have been doing very well.
and because of that I decided to move them in this uh, new nest a gypsum nest it's from Ants Kingdom this whole setup actually if I don't forget I'll leave the link uh, of their uh, end store in the description but yeah you can see that they have a lot of workers a lot of majors actually and there are some pupa that uh, will form into majors uh, in a little bit uh, they have also uh, three males in the nest I think but because we're not in their native country they won't uh, have the nuptial flight I think they'll just keep the males inside and eventually kill them off and use them as protein for their brood the queen also recently laid some uh, new eggs and those eggs are probably in this cluster here where the queen also hides So now that you've seen all of my colonies and uh, recently caught queens, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe if you're new. And feel free to comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!